There's a paradoxical question that's quite commonly known. What happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object? It's a paradox. It's sort of like the chicken and the egg. But when related to this reality, it's quite a bit more relevant. And what I'm presenting right now is when this paradox is related to the concept of inertia. And what is inertia? By definition, it could be synonymously related to laziness or sluggishness. But in physics, it could be related to something which is called constant motion. Something which moves at a constant rate of speed and in the same linear direction, a straight line even. The one thing that obviously moves at a constant rate of motion in this reality is time. So it could be easily said that time is inertia. Does it make sense that Time could be related to something that is sluggish or lazy. It's a hard thing to discern. But it's obviously very much related to the concept of an unstoppable force. Something that keeps moving forward until something else gets in its way. And that's the point of inertia. Something has to get in the way or change the direction of that force of inertia. As I'm relating here, this unstoppable force, which obviously could be very likened to humanity as a whole or everything of this system. And this whole system is an unstoppable force moving forward in the same direction. Always thinking that it's just going to be endlessly moving in the same direction. Well, that is until some other force stops it. And this is why I'm relating it to that paradox of meeting an immovable object. Well, what's the immovable object? Obviously, if we analogize based on mind and heart again, the mind, which is time, is that which is in constant motion moving forward. And the heart, it could be said, is this immovable object. The earth is the immovable object. I've already stated what's to come. The taps will be shut off. The earth is no longer going to provide. It therefore very much becomes a complete immovable object, completely through and through. The earth at that point will no longer be doing what's expected. It's being treated as a slave, as was mentioned. So slave time is over. This unstoppable force meets an immovable object, no longer complying. It's one way to put it. No longer doing what the mind is subjecting it to. The earth, which is the heart, has woken up, so to speak. It's a different way to put it sees what's going on, sees that it's a waking nightmare, and says, enough. It puts a stop to it. The whole thing changes at that moment. That force of inertia, which kept moving forward, just like a slew of zombies, if you will, just constantly moving forward, 
thinking that it's always going to be able to move in that same direction. Just like time constantly moves, constantly ticks in the same direction. And then it meets this immovable object. The one that says, enough. It puts up its hand, it says, stop. And that unstoppable force, well, the apparent unstoppable force, it can no longer continue moving in the same direction. It is forced to change. Hence, the paradoxical situation to come. Beginning meets end. End meets beginning. The truth meets the lie. That's also what this is about. The truth coming face to face with the lie. Life meeting death. Head on. Face to face. It's no longer about compliance, blind compliance. Bowing down and serving the wrong ideas endlessly. This inertia that has taken over everything is forced to change its approach. It has no choice in the same way that it rendered the heart choiceless. That's also what the table's turning actually means. The mind which turned the heart into a slave, well the table's turn and the heart renders the mind powerless. Completely powerless. Where are you going to go now? What are you going to do? You have no more power. You have no more moves. You've run out of time. You hit a dead end. An immovable object. That's what a dead end is. Time inevitably does run out. And death is time. Time is death. The truth is timeless. Absolutely timeless. It's forever. It's eternity. It's infinite. And the time is all about the finite. All about the limited. And so, in another way, it's about the unlimited truth meeting the finite lies. The paradox will complete itself and it will be the ending of the contradiction the ending of the paradox one cannot be free and be a slave at the same time that's also having it both ways of course who wants to be a slave who wants to have to be a slave you'd have to be a fool to say that you want to be a slave but many will choose that option, they will choose the mind, which is all about slavery. Of course, the mind knows it's running out of time very quickly. It's desperate. Yeah, the rotten tree was shaken. It was shaken a little bit ahead of time, and look at the response just on this tiny little channel. It was already shaken to its core. That wasn't even the real situation. Not even at all. So when the real situation happens, all 
all of that rotten fruit is going to come out. It's going to be exposed. It's going to be revealed. The nightmare that it is. And it's going to be seen. And everyone who's still enjoying their dream state. It's going to be quite shocking. Very shocking when you finally see where you actually are. It's going to shake you to your own core. That's the unfortunate reality, but it's what everyone must face no matter what choice is going to be made. It is the ultimate choice. But when the house is burning, it's no choice what to do. You don't stay in the burning house. You don't stay in hell. You don't stay in a cancer system. Anyone who's real, with a real heart, who doesn't want to continue being a slave for a false system, you already know that. You know what to do in a situation where the worst is facing you. The house is burning down. You get out. You leave. It doesn't matter what you have to do to get out. You just do what is necessary. You're presented with a way to get out. You leave. The end. An impossible opportunity has been created. Yeah, I'm taking it. And it's obvious that it's about this opportunity. It's so damn obvious because everyone's being smacked upside the face with it. Because the taps of the earth have been shut off. And what? What's the play of the system? Oh, everything's going to turn around. Just, just don't worry. Just listen to the government. They never have lied to you, not even once. Yeah, for sure. An imbecilic clown retard. If you believe a damn thing of what the government has ever said, or what they're going to say in the future, then you're truly an imbecile. Sorry to say that. Sorry to sound so harsh in that way, but that's just the fact. The government as a whole, if they could be related to an individual, they are a snake oil salesman. They are just a straight up liar. The whole construct of government is built on a foundation of lies. So in the time to come, this unstoppable force of time, which is death, which is also the government, the ruler of this hell system, it's going to just lie constantly and say, don't worry, we're going to get through this. Everything is going to become better. Just wait it out. And the house will be burning the ship will be sinking and quickly time will be running out this is a very very narrow gate this opportunity as it unfolds and you're gonna listen to death and its minions its retards that are going to be trying their utmost to convince you to stick it out to stay behind because yeah, that opportunity is just too hard. It's just too hard to run out of a burning building. So just just stay. Just stay in the burning building and just catch a nap. The government said the fire department's coming. Don't even worry. Watch some TV. Just play some video games. Here's some beer. Drink some beer. Like, stop worrying. They got it, man. They got it covered. We're protected. That's what the government's job is, is to protect us. Yeah, go ahead and be a retard and listen to those morons doling out that idiotic advice as the Titanic goes under. 
and they tell you to keep dancing to the band playing their violins, rearranging the deck chairs on the sinking ship. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So it doesn't matter what needs to be done in the time to come, you do it because you realize, holy shit, I'm actually in hell and hell is a true nightmare. It absolutely is and I just need to get out, obviously. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to leave this wrong system, this wrong vision. And here's an impossible opportunity, and I happen to be around for it, and I'm going to, what, throw that opportunity in the trash can because of listening to some idiotic clowns? That's a 2020 hindsight moment where if you miss the opportunity, you can rightfully kick yourself in the ass over and over again saying, holy shit, I threw that opportunity away. I literally took a shit all over it because I listened to some idiotic retards, some cancer brains. Wow, I, I guess I deserved to miss that opportunity because I listened to them instead of following the heart and the truth. I instead followed a bunch of douchebag liars. That's exactly what they are because they don't take anything serious. They love violence. They love the horrendous. They love horror. These are the ones that create horror movies, horror video games. They're the ones that promote that shit. They love it. They want you to be immersed in that. They want you to entertain these ideas, entertain them. It's why it's called entertainment, because you're entertaining the idea. Do you think there's no consequences to entertaining ideas? Conceptualize it, go into it. You can't just entertain these ideas. And think that there's nothing behind it. And hell has all kinds of horrendous ideas. It's obvious. I've just given a few examples. Yeah, the movies, the video games, the music. Just filled with shit. Just terrible concepts being promulgated, being promoted, being pushed forth. It's all part of that same inertia, that same forward movement of death and time. Well, it's going to meet an immovable object of truth that says no more. You're done. You're done for good. So would one take it serious? Because this is going to be it. Or you're not going to, and you're just going to listen to the news that gets you caught in its headlines, the noose, to the lying government that doesn't give a shit about anyone except itself. Total hubris. Total pride in its vanity and all of its horrors. So go into the paradox and see, see that the heart is done with this shit show. 
Listen to the heart, see with the heart. It's time for the truth. No more lies. The fictions are over. They're coming to an end. They're meeting the dead end.